speaking of more money, more problems. Uh, Mo Problems Less Money is our next person. We're talking about Kanye West. Right. Guys, we're doing the Mean Girls podcast episode. We are hey. keeping it real. So Kanye West, I think we all know that he's been remarried since Kim. Yes? yes? Anyone know his new wife's name? Is it she Nobody like gives a shit. No. But her name is... <laughs> but her name is... <laughs> you're Kanye's wife. Her name is Bianca. So she celebrated her birthday uh, wearing what she typically wears around Kanye, what he allows her to wear. Just show off your titties with a little bit of string on it. Here's a picture. Um, there it is. Oh, I'm surprised she's even able to wear all that. Punch in a little bit. So. I don't think so. I think we got it. There's other <laughs> images out there. Do you have other images that, that you can pull up, Malik? Maybe a closer look. So <laughs> as we're pulling up these images, I think that she's just a professional model for him. Not a model. He's just like, come around me. There's pictures of her literally walking around Italy a holding pillow. a pillow. There's pictures of her holding a mask. He's like, listen, I'm Kanye, I'm number one. You're my number two, it's clear, it is what it is. If you wanna be my wife, just do what you're told, do what I say, you'll live a good life. Why did he do that? Okay, this is, this is what, her, yeah. This is, what, what does the clip say? Why is, Why he, is he treating, treating her, her like a puppet? Treating her like a puppet, yeah, okay. This is the criticism that he's getting out there, <laughs> just basically using her. Now, why is this such a big deal? Because we all know that he was married to Kim K. We all know my history with Kim and all that fun stuff. But clearly, she was the alpha in that relationship. She's more famous. She's wealthier. She's more known. Kanye's, we get it. He's a great rapper. But as far as Instagram followers, social media impressions, household names, don't forget, there's one Kanye West. There's like a hundred Kardashians, okay? So all I'm saying is, he was playing second fiddle to Kim. That's all I'm saying. Does anybody disagree? No. Okay. Uh, in this relationship, he's clearly the man. Yes? So. I hope so. She's clearly the sidekick. But that's not the question. Here's the question. Who should be the leader in a relationship? Who should be like, follow me, I got you, this is where we're going, and who should be like, okay, I'm on your team, let's go. So we're gonna ask the question here. Green for men, red for women, who should be the leader in your relationship, red or green? Is there a way to do it, like halfway? You're about to. Okay, so green, 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 green. For green is for men? Green is for men, yeah. okay. So the only person here that has red is Gabriella. Well, no, half and half. But you're half-half. Explain why it's half-half. It just depends, because if a man is not providing for you, there's really no need for you to be in the picture if there's nothing that you can bring to me that I can't bring to myself. So the, when you say providing, break that down. As in, like, you should be providing me a home. Like, you should be providing me paying for my bills or at least just giving a little something to make my life easier. We women are designed to be, like, very soft with men, you know, like love them. Like, like if they're babies, men kind of act like babies. So for you, you to get that out of me, you need to do something for me, which is provide for me, provide me a home, a, a car. And if you can't do that for me, then you should just get so out of my way. So on your list of things that you're looking for of a guy, if he's not a provider, you're out. Yeah, I'm completely Doesn't out. matter how hot he is, how cool he is, mm -hmm. how funny he is, for you, mm -hmm. Dollar dollar bills, y'all. Not really dollar dollar bills. It's just like we both need to work together. I don't want to be taking care of you like if you're my child. No, nobody said that you need to take care of no, him. No, but that's Take what care I'm of saying. him. But you're saying you're mandating that he has to take care of you. But that's what I'm saying. If he doesn't provide, who else is? Okay, so back to my initial question. So who leads in the relationship? Is it just come down to who makes the most money? More or less, yeah. Okay, so if the guy makes more money, he's the leader necessarily so basically yeah. money talks bullshit walks yeah because you know you like you grew up a certain lifestyle of what you want and how you want things and like you shouldn't settle for less than what you want in your future everybody okay. has their goals and things to look at and if you can't level to my own goals and what i want then it's not gonna work um what do you do for work again i'm a legal assistant you're a le that's right the illegal assistant legal <laughs> assistant so uh how many lawyers are trying to get in the you know, all up in there. <laughs> not a lot. Not a lot? Only because I give that, like, that boundary. Like, I'm not... That illegal that. pussy boundary. No, nah, like, we ain't playing this game. 
No. no. I just, I'm an example to, you know, I have a son. He's going to be one Ah, next month. the so kicker. You, have, you got a kid. You got a son. Yeah. So you have like an example that you want to raise your kid a certain way and how they're Where's supposed the to Where's the father? Out and about. <laughs> just out and about? Were you guys ever married? Know. No. Um, we were together for a really long time. It didn't work. After who broke up with who? I broke up with him. Why? Was it the money? It, it, it was a big portion. I was okay. tired of taking care of the mess, the nonsense, picking up the pieces and trying to make everything correct. Gotcha. You know? This isn't an intervention. We'll move on to other girls. Yeah. You're doing great, by the way. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you for doing your thing. Congratulations. Boy or girl? A boy. What's his name? Elijah. My amazing night. Round of applause for the mother over here. We need strong women raising kids. We also need men in the home. I say this all the time. There's stats out there that show that, yeah. you know, the father being in the home is the, probably the best thing they can have for a kid. So break it down. When is it appropriate have the man in the house, not have the man in the house? You said that the most important thing is for him to be a provider. But what about being a provider for your son, Elijah? What about being there for you? What about being present? What about being a protector? Well, if he is it all just come down to the money? Well, no, if he, it's also money and also, too, how you treat my son. I think my son comes first and then money comes after. Because if you don't love my son, you honestly don't love me. But that's his son, too. Yeah, more or less. If me and you are in a relate, well, what are you talking about? Like me with my kid's dad or like somebody else? Like if I were, no, with, you know. No, with the actual father. Oh, the father? No, no, that's a no. He's not in, in, not in the son's life? Oh, he is. But like if me and him were together, like that would No, I know you're not with him. But um. To be honest, I, I do everything for my kids. Gotcha. I so the bottom line is your guy was not a leader. You didn't no. respect him. He wasn't making enough money, so he had well, to hit the door. Well, not making enough money. It was just spending money on different priorities and, like, or, or different of his priorities, not, Got like, it. your actual okay. things that are real. How hard is it finding a new man right there with a one-year-old? Honestly, it's not really that hard. Really? It's really not. It's just me, like, if I feel like what you bring to the table is what I want to eat. And how young are you? I'm 26. I'll be 27 in January. Well, the 18th. Happy birthday. Thank you. Alondra, you know this girl. You know men. You know relationships. You got it going on and a, you know, and a whole bag of chips. I, I, the initial question was, who should be leading in a relationship? Every single one of you said the man. And I want to get you guys' input on this. Even Mike, who is the man, said... I'm the man. You got to follow what I lead. Alondra, where are you at with this? When you hear leadership, when you hear running a relationship, what are the prerequisites for you to follow the leadership of a man? Well, he needs to obviously treat me really good, and he needs to be religious, you know. He needs to have a lot of faith, be patient, and the second thing would obviously be money, though. <laughs> I don't want to be stressed out about anything. Gotcha. Yeah. Is money not as far? We've all have all said that the man should be the leader in the relationship. Yeah. Everyone has a top three. For instance, you said religious, then you said money, whatever else it is. For you, it was straight up provider, money, take care of it, all get. And my kid. Is though. is no, and the kid? You gotta be. The, yeah. Anyone else here have a kid? So that's just you. Oh, is money not in anyone's top three here? So when you say the man's the leader of the relationship, I'm following his lead. Here are the three things I'm looking for in a man. Whatever they are, do them in your head real quick. Beep, boop, beep, boop, beep, boop, beep, boop. Is money not in the top three for any of you? Oh, that's tough. Go ahead. Um, because for me, I know that money can come and go. It really depends on the mindset of a man. So for me, the top three would be faith. He is a God-fearing man. He has strong faith and morals. Two, He's a family man, so he loves his family so well. Because who, who your relationships are with determines a lot of who you are because it's what you're um, exposed to, it's what you're influenced by. Um, so uh, his, his faith, his, fr his family, his friends, his relationships, um, and then his vision. So a man with vision is worth following, but I think there's a lot of men that don't have vision for their life. Um, don't have a sense of purpose mm -hmm. and that I can't I can't follow that I can't stand behind that yeah. so those would be the most important and I think that um, money is attracted to purpose and money is attracted to people that 
have strong values are integral because if you're integral in your business, if you're an integral person and you do everything high quality and, um, and, to, and give the best service, money will just come. Money yeah, will flow true. to you. Mm -hmm. So I, I pick people based more on who they are because I've met yeah. mil multimillionaires who are just terrible human beings. Yeah. And it's just like, I could never mm -hmm. like submit to someone who is like that. Yeah. By the way, clap Love it up for our friend Love Daya right here. Yeah. Go ahead. Um, so a couple things to that. Money does not make you the person you are. It essentially exposes the person that you are. That's good. If yeah. you are a good person and you come into money, you will do good things with your money. Yeah. If, you do, if you're a bad person and you come into money, you will do bad things with your money mm -hmm. and treat people poorly. The, the quickest solution to make a lot of money, and I've done this, we, have some people, we, we know people around here have done this, Help as many people as possible. The more people you can help, the more money you will make. Mm -hmm. So uh, it, it, Elon Musk said it, the more, the more problems you can solve, the more people, situations that you can aspire and help and do better with, the more money you make. That's just kind of natural debt. I mm -hmm. like what you said there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. If you like that one, click right here to watch the full SauceCast. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel.